Welcome everybody to another edition of MSP Wave's Steemit User Interviews. My name is Main Event. I am your host, and today we are joined by Spangaroo. Is I am I pronouncing that correctly? Yeah, yeah, that'll do. That sounds just fine to me. All right, so and that's spelled S P A I N G A R O O. Is that correct? Spain added to the word kangaroo. All right. And uh, so, obviously, you're coming to us from the country of Spain, right? Yeah, yeah. I live in the south of Spain now. I used to live in Madrid. Most of the time I've lived in Spain, I lived in Madrid. I live where the olive oil comes from. Oh, the olive oil. Yes. It's good stuff. Good like, stuff. Yeah, well, Spain produces, like, between half and 60% of the world's olive oil. And this province where I live produces 70 percent of spain's olive oil so wow that's awesome gives you an idea very cool and uh it's so how, how long have you been on steam it um two weeks two weeks or All so right. it seems, seems like 11 years at the same time I hear you. There's, it seems like every day that you're on Steam, it is like a new adventure. You end up meeting new people, you come across new projects, and I, I totally agree. I, I've only been on for about three months now, and it definitely seems like a lot longer than that, for sure. Yeah. I mean, my fir the first, like, really, I was surprised to see how long I'd been on it, because I mean, I've been at it for at least 18 hours a day or more. I've done a couple of overnighters just right straight through from one from one night to the to the second night afterwards. <laughs> so it's pretty it's been a bit insane. Very so, insane. Definitely. So what brought you to Steam it? Was it something that someone recommended to you? Was it so, where did you hear about the platform? Okay, I was I've been taking an interest in, but I've had an interest in the cryptos for years and I haven't done anything about that interest. And then I was reading another article about cryptos and they were talking about Steemit, coming on board and making introduce yourself posts and getting like $800. And I'm like, eh, ears prick up. Exactly. Now, now tell me this. Did your introduction post make you $800 like you hoped? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I could go and look, but I think it's like I've hardly made it for a dollar. I, I, can't, actually... I can't say a whole lot. To be honest, I haven't really done an official like introduce yourself post. I kind of did I, one, I, but, but I... I didn't really know what I was doing when I first did it, so I don't really have a very good one. There's a longer story to it in one sense because I saw this article about that when that was still happening, right, which was about um, the start of June or so, I think. I can't, I can't remember the, the, the dates quite now so you anyway. you're saying you you read about steam it somewhere else like outside of the platform um you you read an article about it you said yeah well there's an article about cryptos oh i see a, okay okay different opportunities that are popping up in cryptos and it was talking about different things that are becoming based on the blockchain and so it mentioned steam it and i'd heard of it before to an extent but about the fact that it's gone insane, that people are just coming on and making. And I came and checked it out, and I could see, you know, the top posts in Introduce Yourself were just being ridiculous. <laughs> right. And, and you know, not that full of talent or anything. And I happen to think that I'm full of talent. So I thought if, you know, if it can be done, I can do it. But now, then I, I asked for an account after the whole process, it warned me this could take a little while because it's manually approved, you know? So I said, okay, no worries. And I'm thinking about what I'm going to do for an introductory post, et cetera, et cetera. And a whole heap of days went past and I started to get started to get really depressed. And where's my account? I actually let 20 days go past 
before I investigated further and found an email letting me in that was only three hours after I'd asked. <laughs> and I hadn't even seen the email. Because oh, wow. I, was, <laughs> I just assumed I wasn't going to get one for at least a day or two. Right. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. So so you it's basically kind of didn't even know. So you waited 20 days. Oh, you could have been steaming almost, that whole time. You almost made me cut my wrists. So <laughs> it's sort of funny and sort of tragic at the same time. Yeah, that's I mean, twenty like days lost right there of blogging, right? Yeah, twenty and, days and twenty days that are so important, as you would know, like twenty days of extreme growth. And anyway, because lots of the people I met when I first came on here, who seemed to be masters of it, were only about twenty days old. Yeah, I came they, on board about the middle of May, and that was a time when it seemed like a lot of people joined around that time. And now, of course, as you know. Yeah, well, and hopefully it will be basically just a snowball effect. You know, hopefully it's just going to keep growing and growing and growing. I think it will. I'm trying to write a post. My plan was to do it today, but it hasn't happened. And it won't, I don't think. I'm trying to write a post with my view of the whole thing so that I can share it with people who aren't on the platform because I've tried to talk a few people into considering this, found that it's a really long, time-wasting process to do it individually. Yeah. Same things again and again, trying to explain it to people. So I've been trying to make a post that I can just send people to and then let them ask me questions or whatever. But I haven't done it yet. I'm oh, sorry. I personally don't know anyone like if my friends or family that use Steam it, do you do you have any close friends no. or family that use it? Absolutely zero. Well, my girlfriend's just made her first post today, but it's only because I really, really, really insisted, like forced her to right. do it and and made it easy for her. Like it wasn't like it was for me, because I already know everything, so I could help her get started painlessly. Which of course is good, good for everybody. Exactly. Now, but um, I had. Sorry, you go. Uh, now I'm just curious. Like when you guys first got going, did you find it very easy to basically navigate as a new user on Steamit, or did you find it quite difficult? Yeah. Well, I could just put. If I was typing, I'd be putting huge amounts of capital letters. Lol, lol, lol. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I've done some pretty hard things, but I was so confused at first. I mean, I'm sure anyone on power will, will vouch for the fact that I just couldn't get my hands around it at all. It seems like when these, new users, when these new users join, there's not a lot of um, help for them as far as from Steam it. I mean, if well, they want to reach and out, there's tons and 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 tons, and tons of articles aimed at new users to help them out and some of them are really good right but, but one I, of the I, things I, I know is, 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 i know when i first got going though there was no real direction though to take you there um you know once i joined a community you know they certainly pointed those out and once i kind of was navigating around a little bit i found it but there was no like welcome when you first join like hey you should go look over here for some help i mean i guess the frequently asked questions that you can always point to that um but i was talking with another user and you know i think that if if they really put more of an effort into guiding the minnows around when they first join i think more people would have a better experience because i was also reading something that said that the the new user retention rate is really low like people make accounts but they don't necessarily stay uh, yeah, so... I was just reading some some figure today that said something like seventy nine percent or or yeah. something like that are leaving. Right. So, so that is that is too high. Yes, definitely for sure, and it is too hard. You know, and there's a lot of uh... <laughs> in my introduction. Post, yeah, there's Sorry. a lot of unwritten, like, ethical things, too, you know, as far as, like, how much quality needs to be in your post and needs to be in your comments and all these things. And there's they, they don't really tell you any of that stuff when you first join. You kind of have to figure that out on your own. Certainly true. I mean, I'm not going to try and say that's not true. I figured it out pretty easily because, in some sense, it's just like, I mean, 
mean, it's one of the things that attracted me here. I mean, obviously enough, the idea that it's possible to earn a living from this. Well, I'm certainly not doing it yet, but it certainly seems possible, and I know people are doing it. Um, but it was also the thing that I'd seen here that people are real. People are being real. People are getting real. Yeah, exactly. People are trying to be real in their posts, in their comments. That because I, I've got, I mean, I've got Facebook, and I've got seven. We've got seven different business, you know, in in, in inverted commas, business pages between me and my girlfriend. The girlfriend, and um, but I can't. I I can hardly go on Facebook anymore. Like I hate it. <laughs> Yeah, I know personally. I've barely used Facebook at all. Like not since I've joined Steam it. I, a lot. I used it a lot, and I've been on there for a long time. I've got a lot of friends and a lot of followers. So it's uh, you know, and here I've got nobody. I've got a few now, but of course, you know, I came here, didn't know a single person that already used this. Not one. Not in my, you know, not in my physical, um, around me, nor online. Like I knew no other user. Yeah, I actually so, just uh, discovered somebody for the first time uh, that I went to college with. Uh, and, I, so, hey. and so I actually know someone sort of. <laughs> I, I know him, and I mean, we haven't spoken in a long time, but it was it was kind of funny to come across him because he actually used his real uh, username as his name on Steemit. So that's when I saw the name, I was like, man, I, I know that name. And then sure enough, I went and looked at it, and it was it was him. It was kind of ironic to, to find him like that. It was kind of funny. Um, well, one of the things about Facebook because like I said, I started using Facebook a long time ago. And at first, I suppose I probably liked it. I can't say. I mean, I, I've never spent as much time on anything as I'm spending on Steam. It. What I was going to say is one of the things about it was all of a sudden, I did a few searches and all of a sudden I connected with people I went to high school with, people I went to university with, the different universities I went to. All of a sudden, I had a way to connect with all these people that were basically lost to me because I'm a person that I've moved all my life. We moved as kids. When I was a kid, you know, we moved every couple of years. I'm really used to just and making a new set of friends when I get there. But Yeah, Steam it. I mean, I think they'll... As as it grows, I think it'll they'll do a better job of making it so you can find other users, you know, in your area or, or your friends or, or whatnot. I'm sure it will slowly incorporate that stuff more. Okay, we are back now with part two of our interview with Spangaroo. <laughs> Hopefully I'm pronouncing call, that correct. You can call me Scott if you want. All right, Jake. Scott. That's cool. All right, perfect. All right, so Scott, we're going to continue on here. And uh, we were just talking during the break about Discord. And, of course, Discord is a, a chat program that's external from Steemit. It's actually not even... I don't even think they're related whatsoever, as far as I know. No, I think, yeah, I'm sure they're not. Um, and so a lot of people do use Discord, and you were saying that that kind of threw you off. Um, why don't you talk about that a little bit? Okay, well, I mean, I I don't know whether it's Discord, the one, the, like about two months ago, I've been having a lot of trouble with Skype, which I've had and used for years, um, causing problems with the computer, like just taking too many resources and I don't know whether it was Discord that I read was a better choice or whatever, but I hadn't done anything about it yet when I joined Steemit. Of course, when I finally posted my introductory post, the robots came and let me know about Discord, and and so I didn't have a clue what they're talking about, but I thought I'd better go and do it. So I went to Discord, and then I was just freaking out. It was just I couldn't cope at all. I have no background in gaming. I've never been on that sort of chat before. I couldn't keep up at all. It just seemed seemed like being a busker in Grand Central Station and everyone just flowing around me and me like crying in the middle. 
<laughs> yeah, when I first heard it, I oh. had no idea what it was either. When they said, you know, join Discord, I said, well, what? There's so many exchanges and all these things for the cryptos. I was like, well, what's that? That's just some other thing I have to sign yeah, up for. I had to make an account. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, like some other some other thing account. I got to keep track of. But then once I discovered that it was an actual chat program, I was like, oh, okay, that's cool because there really isn't. Uh, I mean, you you have the Steam it dot chat. But I think we can all agree that that isn't the best. Um, I think Discord definitely uh, gives you many it. more options for chatting, for sure. Yeah, I've never actually been to Steam at Top Chat, so I don't know exactly what it's like, so I can't give an opinion. Yeah, it's basically, it's. I mean, it's similar, but it's it's just a separate chat um, website, basically, that you go through Steam it to get to. Um, and a couple of months ago, when I first got on, it was having all kinds of problems. It wasn't loading, and uh, it kept crashing and stuff. So I pretty much stopped using it. And then once I discovered Discord, and I realized that so many Steemit users are on here, uh, that pretty much changed everything for me. It made it so much easier to interact with all the other Steemit users and to, uh, you know, get involved in different community projects. And I think uh, Discord yeah, it's made, is a great thing. It's made all thing. the difference for me. Too. It's made all the difference. I I must admit, like I basically sort of hated it. <laughs> first, the first few days, I was hating it because I'm an artist, and what I most have to do, or at least what I most have done in my life, is be alone and silence, working on making ridiculously art and being relatively happy like that i like being alone in silence working and all of this is like the opposite of that of course but the thing is well oh, sorry you go uh, no well all i was going to say is that one thing i have discovered because i was kind of similar when i first got on the steam and i i didn't really interact with hardly anybody i was just you know posting some pictures and you know doing some things and i i've definitely discovered that Reaching out and getting involved in the Steam it community is a huge, huge asset to getting yourself more exposure for your content. Because, of course, the most I think it's almost I think it's almost a hundred percent necessary, really, unless you want to take eight to ten months to get going. Right. Or however long it would take if you didn't bother. So what I would okay, suggest fine. to anybody listening out there who you know who's going to be listening to this, if you're a new user definitely take advantage of discord i mean there's yeah you want to come over to pal and you want to say hello to me because i'll say hello back <laughs> yes for sure and help you through the some of the some of the things that are so hard to get your head around at first because the times and it feels good someone did it for me of course now speaking um, of that are there any users out there that you would like to give like a shout out to that maybe helped you, you know, uh, in, in i your... give a shout out straight away to rondon you would know is is a moderator there on on pal and i think he's quite a lot of things so you know i still don't know who people really are he's the he's the one with the crazy ronald mcdonald oh, and, yeah. uh, and uh he he just like i came back the first day you know i got sent off to the registration room so i watched what people were doing there and went oh no i don't have any money so i went back and had a whinge in the main room i just put a sad face and said no can do, no money. Rondon, you know, immediately said, what's your username on Stream It, on Stem It? Steam It, and, um, you know, less than probably 45 seconds later, I had two cents or two millicents, whatever they're called. You know, and I, I was super impressed by that, really. I just expected nothing to happen or, some, or a couple of people to say lol because that's what I would have done. <laughs> right. <laughs> And, um, you know, it wasn't like that at all. Crazy Ronald McDonald came and gave me two, two cents, you know, and so I went back and registered and came back into the chat room and I stayed there for another, I don't know, ages, throwing in my – whenever I thought I had something funny to say, I'd throw it in there. But, but that same metaphor was still, you know, it still felt like being a busker in Grand Central. Pretty hard to get anyone to notice you're doing anything at first but now you know i go in there and people say hello to me and i say hello to people and throw in a few lols here and there get a few people who acknowledge that that was a lol and um 
I don't know, but it's definitely any new users who are listening. If you don't want to go onto the chat and make some friends, you're going to have a hard time with it. This is not Facebook. This is something different. Absolutely, I think that's a really good way to say it. Way, you want to make some friends in a way that doesn't happen on Facebook. Or at least it never happened for me on Facebook. I've made friends with real friends, and I've made a whole heap of virtual friends because I've you know joined up with. I do. I'm a course junkie. I'm being a course junkie. I do courses all the time. I do courses far too much. I almost never finish them. I start courses a lot. Uh-huh. And every time I start a course, you know, I get another 35 or 50 friends on Facebook. And um, But how many of those people do you really, you know, interact with? Basically about five, I suppose. Right. And I mean, and I noticed on I... Steemit, though, I, I have created or uh, made lots of new friendships. And I mean, granted, I may never meet these people face to face, but yeah, you know, we, we, but we text back and forth in the chat. Uh, sometimes we get on video chats to, or not video chats, but voice chats together. Uh, and we yeah, talk. I'm hoping, and... I'm, hoping to do, I'm hoping to do a few more voice chats because I like the connection part, but being such a huge amount of time, not working on something that seems more like work. I'm a workaholic as well. So one thing I, I'm very used to is working while I talk. Absolutely. Yeah. I think and that's one of, the, one of the solutions that I can go looking for. But you just you do need it is work in one sense. <laughs> Doesn't sound very nice, but making friends is work. Oh yes. From, if you have a if you have a, a job, uh, you know if you've got just like a job and you're happy in it, uh, I don't know whether I'd recommend that you try and do much with Steemit because you really need to work at it to make it work. Absolutely. All sorts of ways. Yeah. You could do it in a in a very slight way, but I'm trying to make it work enough to actually support me as an artist. Support me. Thinking, I'm thinking that this might finally be the way that I can support myself as an artist because I'm afraid I don't sell enough work to to really be surviving. I'm surviving because I get a bit of help from, basically, I have been for the last couple of years because I gave up working five years ago to become a completely full-time artist finally, thinking thinking that I was well on my way to a small amount of success and that was a a bit of an illusion and it's been five pretty hard years (laughs) oh yeah i can imagine and they still are but i've got you know i've got hopes for stem it steam it i mean i felt really great on my i don't know maybe it was about one week into it when i had my 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 big post i've had one successful post feeling i've got to admit let's see here but and so typically, you said you're an artist. Uh, what, what do you usually post about on Steemit? I, well, I did my introductory posts. I did a couple of posts about my art. And I also have decided, had, have decided, um, serialize my life story, told, told in, a, in a fairly creative way, but, a hundred percent truth because I think an incident the other day on on the chat which I, which I wouldn't mind relating if we've, if you don't mind if you've got time um, sure because as I was saying I've decided that I'm going to serialize my life story thing actually anyway I went on to one of the rooms one of the writing rooms and asked if anyone wanted to read the first part me give some feedback or something like that and someone said oh i don't think that fits in here and i said oh well your loss with a smiley face and um i'm not going to name who these people are yeah someone else better chimed in some, saying that um often by um i don't i can't remember the sort of the word that was used but basically by selfish or ego egotistical people 
memoirs are only interesting to egotistical people. So, and then and then the same person said, because I've lived a very interesting life, but I don't think anyone would want to read about it. And you're very, you're not a very good writer, or you're lying about in, living an interesting life because. <laughs> If you've lived, if you've lived an interesting life, by definition, that means people would want to read about it, doesn't it? That's what it would seem like to me. But obviously, enough. And if it's interesting, I don't expect people to to want to know about my life. If I can't write it down in an interesting way, I'm sure I won't have anyone reading it. Anyway, I've only made one post in that series. I've joined Steam Lords. I don't know if you have you run into Steam Lords. No, I haven't heard of that. Okay, it's like a comes from Team Australia, which I joined because they outreached to me. Um, the lovely, the lovely Chew girl um, got in touch with me and asked me if I was Australian, having seen my name, etc. And she, she said, "Well, you know, you want to join Team Australia and all that." And I'm sort of thinking, I don't know whether I do, but she was lovely, of course. So I just went along with it and I joined Team Australia and it's a it's a story fantasy land adventure that people are making up as they go along a guy called Sir Knight like at Sir Knight is um sort of in charge but basically we've got to go and rescue see the sort of Excalibur separately writing their part of the story from their character's point of view and we've somehow got to defeat the dark forces and rescue the sword of Excalibur to That's save the steam at world. Incredibly fun. Huh. Like I think people find I think people find my posts not incredibly fun because they're probably not. They're, they're far too weird to be incredibly fun. But there's another guy. There's there's other, there's a heap. Of, there's a heap of people doing it, and most of them are trying for the extreme laughs angle. And they're getting it too. I mean, it's 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 side-splittingly funny some of the posts. So that's interesting. It's only just officially started on the first. Hmm. The build up the build up was about five days before that. I came across it about five days before the first and decided that it looks like so much fun that I was gonna give it a go too. Okay. Cool. Do it. Just write your bit. Your character, introduce your character, you know, and you tag it with Steam Lords. That's Steam Lords, L O R D S. And, you know, it'll come up when you search that tag and and they'll like it or they won't like it, but <laughs> Right. Yeah. You know, oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's no there's no there's no you know what you don't have to ask anyone. If you want to join anyone listening, <laughs> if it sounds like your cup of tea, search the tag Steam Lords catch up on what people are doing and join in because it's a lot of fun. All right. Very cool. Now, are you involved in any other, uh, you know, like community projects on with Steemit or anything? You, you said you're oh, in the middle yeah. support, right? Yeah. But I'm sort of, I'm in there a fair bit and I try and welcome people and stuff, but I don't really feel like I'm too much of a part of it. Well, I mean, keep it up though. I mean, like you said, it's good to network and to, uh, you know, expand your horizons. I'm, sh I'm sure. Trying uh, to make bread. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure too. And I've heard that um, the next update, they're going to be introducing like communities to Steam it. And so I'm sure, like with your art and and things like that, you'll be able to connect with you know lots of other people who have that interest around the place. Yeah. Well, I, I've got to admit, today, for example, I was going to do. So I had several ideas for what I was going to be posting about today. But in the end, all I did today was comment. But what I have done is found quite a few other real, in inverted commas, real artists, like people who've been at it for a long time and who actually take it seriously. Because to that point, to until today, I still hadn't connected with any other. You mean you haven't connected I, with other artists? Actually, sorry, you kind of cut out for a second. but I haven't connected until today. I hadn't found any other serious artists on here yet. Okay. Like, I, well, that's not that's not fully true. I found a couple, but mainly I found a lot of people who, you know, they just they've been doing it for six months or they want to do it or whatever. Which is there's nothing wrong with that. But 
I've been doing it for 40 years, so it can be it can be a bit hard to communicate with people sometimes who yeah, understand. And I, I think once they uh, make the communities and and do all that stuff, it hopefully will be easier to you know connect with people with similar interests. Uh, I know yeah. the. The steamit.chat, you can go in there and and go into rooms that are based on certain topics. So for some, yeah, well, I was like, going to mention Pal, Pal has those rooms too. Right. So it might be worth for you to like maybe check out some of those other rooms and see if there are people in there. the The thing about steamit chat, though, that I've noticed is it's just mostly a lot of people spamming their links. You know, it's it's basically just a bunch of post promotion links that probably no one even looks at. I don't know. Um, but I know I have seen like an art room and things like that. So if you were to go in there and, and you know, reach out, th there might be some people who, who you might be able to connect with, I think. Um, yeah, maybe. Like I said, I still have never gone to Steam at chat. So yeah, I, it's, I, I, I do think you have to, you have to sign up, I believe it's separate. Um, but once you're yeah. in there, it, uh, it just automatically will connect you and stuff from Steemit. And yes. uh, it's just another outlet, you know, of a way to talk to people. Does that does that actually come through on the interface then on Steemit? Yep. Um, right in the menu. Uh, yeah, let me go back to Steemit here. You know how in the, the top right corner you have the, the menu you can open up? Yeah. Um, it's yeah. right in there, actually. It's right in there for Steemit chat. And it should open it in a separate browser for you. And like I said, I think you have to register your username and everything. Um, but once you're all set up and everything, it's, it's it will automatically take you there. And uh, yeah, originally uh, okay. I was in another Not group. Every time you come on the screen. Yeah, originally I was in another group that, that was planning on using Steam at Chat for everything. And then it just kept crashing and we just kept losing everything so we eventually just went to discord and that's and we've just been here ever since discord seems to be much more reliable well i just went to well i've been having trouble with the app or at least i, I was the first few days the app like instead of using it in the browser i got the app and i found that it crashed all the time and crashed the computer all the time too so hmm. i've tended to just use it in the browser most of the time most people seem to say it's fine my computer is a little bit, you know, it's it's too old now for everything that I ask of it. Yeah, that's possible. So, yeah, I, it it has frozen on me a few times, um, but it typically works pretty well. But yeah, obviously, if if your computer well, when I say it's crashed, the computer it hasn't really. I've had to just use the task manager to shut Discord down, and everything comes back again. But right. Um, yeah. No, the thing is, like I said, I actually come onto Discord basically the first day. And even though I have heard of Steam at Chat, I thought I just don't need another thing. <laughs> I can't I can't cope with another thing, is another way of saying it. I don't think I can cope with anything else. I haven't really investigated anything else. I've had enough trouble with trying to keep up with, you know, making some contacts on, on Discord plus blogging and, and commenting and right. making contacts through Steam at itself. Yeah, but I didn't realize that if you were on Steam at Chat, you could actually sort of have it base, so that you didn't have to be swapping in and out all the time. It does sound like it's a good thing. Yeah, it just yeah, it's just basically just another chat system. You it's know, not, I don't, I don't know how to when word came, it. But... When I came over here before, and I was talking to you when we were talking before we came online. And then I went back to the general room. You know, there's 612 new messages <laughs> since I oh, was. Oh, I know. Yeah, I can't. Just go, nah, I can't. I can't. I know. I don't personally, know what's going on. I, I personally can't keep up in those general chat rooms. I, I usually just have mine set to only let me know if if someone mentions my name, and then I can go back through because I I usually just can't keep up with all those messages. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Luckily enough, I live in a different time zone than most of the people who are on Steemit. So, well, luckily enough, I say, what it means is like when most people are on, which is sort of now or a little bit earlier, really, because even though, like I said, I've done a few overnighters, I can't keep that up. That'll kill me. And um, 
on in the daytime it's really quiet so you can have more interesting conversations uh, in the general room you know when i'm there in the daytime it's often quite quite a lot quieter there's just a mod, one of the you know one of the mods or a couple of the mods and maybe three other people and i've had far more interesting conversations then than i have when there's just so many people just flooding it and you know a new person comes on every 15 seconds and the bots greet them and yes i bit, agree it's a little bit nightmarish yeah, i agree well uh we're we're reaching another top of the hour type of time frame here so uh we could probably start to wrap this up are there any other things you'd uh, like to mention or any maybe uh well my, the main the main thrust of my article that i want to write is to is to sort of talk about the fact that there's no such thing as a free lunch that was actually going to be my angle um people are saying silly things about this money in any sense if you're not prepared to work at it you're not going to earn any money a particular type of person maybe if you're a, you know an attractive woman and you post about being an attractive woman maybe it's not that hard to earn a earn a bit from it but you know it, it's hard work to get going in this if you expect it to there's no easy money is what i'm trying to say exactly but it's kind of like you get there's people you like me have, yeah well there's people like me who have no other choice really i have no other choice i can't go back out to work i've got nine dogs three cats now because that's the other thing that happened when i came to the village i'm sure that came to the village you're busy <laughs> yeah well it just means it's, it's impossible for me to go back to work i don't want to like i don't i absolutely do not call myself retired but i have no intention of going back to working for the man i've done that since i was 13 years old and that's long enough so yeah, I hear you. I'm I'm trying to no uh, juggle like three different projects all at once. So Steam it is yeah. uh, a nice um, a nice break from the real world kind of thing. It's, it's can, nice. can I ask you? Are you are you earning now? After you said you've been here a couple of months and you seem to have really gotten into it now because you're taking roles in keeping everything going well, like you are in the radio. So right. are you actually seeing a financial? side to it not yet really I, I mean i think i said my account's worth like i don't know 400 bucks or something so far so i mean I, i'm doing okay uh but it certainly would not um pay the bills <laughs> you know uh i think all it would ever be for me uh, maybe well i shouldn't say ever but it would probably it's it's nothing that i would try to rely on as an income it's more of like a side hobby i guess for me uh, right. but of, but of course, you know, if I get, you know, if we get our steam power up high enough, you know, then you really could turn it into an income based on, you know, doing curation yeah, well, and, and things like apparently. that. Apparently, I mean, I'm planning to always be based on creating content to be a curator. I, I do. I obviously enough, I do read enormous number of articles because I've always read an enormous number of articles. So now I'm just reading them on steam it. And usually, if the article is worth it, I'll comment. I'll make a good comment, et cetera, et cetera. But I want to be here as a con content creator. I want to show off my work. I want to show off my, my newfound writings because I've never written. I could, could because I wasn't doing it. But now I've started doing it, I find that writing, the words come flowing out easy as. Yep. Maybe they're not Maybe they're not very interesting to read, but I, I do try my hardest to make it interesting to read. So, you know, I believe my role here is to make content and hopefully pick up enough followers or supporters or whatever you want to call it. That my, my one big benefit is I live in a house that I own, but that's beside the point. I own it. The land tax here is incredibly low because the value of my house is so incredibly low. It's a proportional thing. It's a percentage thing. So my land tax is only about 120 euros a year. And, um, <laughs> yeah, no, that's no, great. I, spend, I, mean, 
I, I think it would be great if eventually a lot of us who are early birds to Steam it, you know, if, if a year or two down the road Steam it really takes off, I think we'll all be rewarded for our for our effort of, you know, getting in here early and helping grow the community and, and really getting it yeah, thriving. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm planning to reinvest everything at first. So I, I have no intention of pulling anything out. Right, neither do I. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yep, I'm just going to let all, it sit there the and see what power. happens. Yeah, yeah. All, the, all into Steam Power. I'll just keep on surviving however I can. I'm also wondering if there's a market for selling artwork for Steam. I have or, seen it, honestly. There is um, a marketplace, but I didn't like it at all. Yeah, I'm not sure... Uh, yeah all the logistics of that but uh keep looking into it keep searching steam it well i was planning to try and try and do it for myself basically i was planning to just offer my work for thing in a, in a way on my own blog there yeah and see what happens and you might but be if, able if to, i do find uh, a marketplace well, have you have you ever thought about doing like custom stuff for people works um yes and no depends like i said i've been doing this for 40 years Right. And I've done a few commissions, but they often don't work out very well. People yeah. are funny. Um, you know, you usually you, you underprice yourself, make extraordinarily labor-intensive work. And if I do sell it, I usually end up making myself about one euro an hour for my time. And even then, I only sell one piece every ten Basically, I'm pretty used to just starving to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort hopefully, of okay with it. Hopefully, Steam It and, and other ventures will uh, improve that for you. So, uh, any parting words for uh, our, our listeners out there? Uh, if, you, if you're keen on trying it, I think you just need, you need to make a commitment. I've got a quote written on my wall that I see when I get out of bed. I've got lots of things written on my wall, but one of them is a quote from... Andre Agassi. Do you know who that is? Yes, yep. His quote says, um, it begins with a decision. Dedicate and commit yourself. Quit. And all I esteem, it's not quite that much. I mean, you can do it as a hobby or you can do it in a non-serious way. If you expect to make anything from it, you're really going to have to dedicate yourself to it. It's not going to doubt that. Absolutely. I think that's about the only thing I do people with. It's yeah. not Facebook. Definitely not. And people uh, out there listening, I mean, just keep at it. it. Don't you know? I know people get discouraged sometimes if their posts, you know, may not uh, get the payouts or the number of views that they were hoping. You know, don't get discouraged. Go and see my, uh, you know, people can go and see my poem about disappearing below the blockchain, <laughs> because you know, that's what it feels like. You post a few minutes later, it's not on the front page anymore. And, you know, it's gone forever, one cent. Until you go into PAL and you have a bit of a whinge that no one's looked at your post and people ask for a DM and, you know, you send it to them and then you get a comment and you start feeling better. And Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and, the community and I think, is uh, everything. Networking the community is, is everything. the biggest thing. Yes, community for sure. Yes, absolutely. Uh, making sure that you're commenting on other people's posts, and and you know if not, that doesn't mean doing the whole follow for follow nonsense either. That means you know no, I think getting that's legit feedback. Ask anyone to follow me, not on my own posts, nor nor in a comment. For me, it seems obvious that you know if you like someone, you follow them. I have followed people that have asked me to follow them. It's not like I've used taken it against them you need to do that what you need to do is make valuable comments that make people want to follow you you need you need to put effort into everything you do and you need to think about everything you do because the other thing that people need to remember is it's public yeah oh, every yeah. single yeah, thing oh, yeah. you do on here is public to the people who know how to look at it i'm completely lost i couldn't look at anything from a week ago <laughs> i wouldn't know how <laughs> but there are people that do and there are people that look as well. Everything you do is public and everything you do is forever. You can never take away what you originally wrote. So keep that in mind, people. Definitely. 
And so, okay, so once again, you, you spell your username S P A I N G A R O O, right? Spain Guru, hey, just like cu- the country of much. Spain and kangaroo. <laughs> yes, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, and make sure you tune in next time, everybody. And this is uh, Main Event signing off. Thank you. Thank you.